Determine the internal normal force, shear force, and moment at point C in the double overhang beam. Okay, so this is a double overhang beam. Overhangs are one and a half, one and a half meter on the left hand side and one and a half meter on the right hand side. And the mid span is three meter from support A to support B. We have a simple support A and a roller support B. And on uh, the beam we have a triangular distributed load here. Uh, and another triangular distributed, distributed load on the right hand side. Okay, so first we need to find the support reactions. So let me just copy and paste this here and use this figure uh, to, to state my support reactions here. Okay, so this is a, a, this is a simple support. So we have support reaction AY here and the support reaction AX here and for this one we have a support reaction BY right so for the distributed loads we need to find the equivalent um, single forces for the distributed loads so for the left hand side triangular load we have we have this single force acting on the central gravity of this of this central of this triangle and on the right hand side we have this somewhere here okay acting on the central gravity of, uh, of the right hand side triangle so this is going to be this is going to be 0 0.5 meters and so that's 0 0.5 and the rest is one meter okay for this one it's like one two and three equal length so it's acting uh, right at, at uh, point c but this is temporary okay so we are just doing this in order to find the support reactions so the values for uh, the right, left hand side triangular load and the right hand side triangular load it's simply the area under the loading curve so that's uh, 4.5 times 3 over uh, over four, uh, over 2 and so that will give me um, let me see okay let's just write a it as an equation one and a half times 4. Time, 4.5 times 3 that is my um, the value of my single equivalent single force and for the for the other uh, I have 1 over 2 times 1 over 5 times 3 okay so support reactions So just by examination we can say we can easily see that the support reaction AX is zero. AX is equal to zero because there is no force acting along the X direction. Okay. Uh, so we can say no external force acting, no force acting along X direction, therefore making AX zero. Okay, so what about AY? Uh, and by so to find a y I'm going to write an equivalent equation around uh, moment equation around point B so total moment B clockwise counterclockwise positive I'm assuming that's equal to zero okay and then I will be having so this one and a half so this one times the distance is 1.5 so let me just write that down one and a half times 4.5 times 3 and the moment arm will be 1.5 meters okay so that's positive because it's rotating around uh, point b in the counterclockwise direction so counter 
clockwise positive, so that's positive. As for the other um, concentrated equivalent force, I will be having, so that's minus because it's clockwise, rotating clockwise, one and a half times 1.5 times 3, and times the moment arm is 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, okay? And that's that, and then I will be having minus because it's rotating around and the point B in the clockwise direction, so that is going to be my, so AY times the moment arm for AY is equal to three meters, okay, three meters, and that's it, so that's equal to zero, so by uh, using this, okay, I find AY, so using this equation, very simple, I find AY to be three kilonewtons, okay, all right, uh, and that's that. So do I need to find by? No. Why? Because the question is asking me to find the internal norm, normal force, shear force, and moment at point B, at point C. Okay. So what I do, I apply a virtual cut here. Okay. I'm going to cut. I'm going to apply a virtual cut and use this left hand side um, region. To find, to find what? To find the internal forces. So my internal forces here uh, will be uh, NC, VC, and the moment C. Okay, so these are what I'm trying to find out. Okay, so what I will do, I, I, I will use this left hand side. Okay. So let me just draw the diagram, free body diagram for the left hand side, okay? So for the free body diagram of the left hand side, so I have, let me just change the color of my pen. Okay, so I have my beam here. That's my beam, and that's my virtual cut at C. So that's C. I have uh, at A, a reaction force of three kilonewton, which I just found, okay, and I have here a loading, okay, um, so that's my one point five, okay, and at point C I have an actual internal force, a shear force, and a moment, internal bending moment, which is acting over the cross section. All right. Uh, so the overall length of this part, overall length of this part is three meters. Okay. So I'm going to, going to be having at one meter from right, from the right. So that's the centroid of this triangle. So one an equivalent single concentrated force of a so let's call this WC the magnitude of that and that WC can it can be easily found actually by applying a similar triangles here so just focus on this big triangle here okay so I have my this pen here. So this this value. Let's call this WC. And what's that WC? So by applying similar so similar triangles, similar triangles, I have a WC over three kilonewton per meter is equal to three over four and a half okay three meter over four and a half meter and from that i have my wc to be uh, to be two okay so wc is equal to um all right two kilonewton per meter all right similar triangles so 
that's two kilonewton per meter. Okay. So we so applying equilibrium equations here, equations of equilibrium, uh, I, I just simply find uh, I just uh, okay. So free body diagram and equations of equilibrium. So total uh, sum of the force in the x direction is zero. So I'm going to be having n c equals zero. That's that. So no forces in the x direction. So sum of the forces in the y direction is zero. So here I will have, so this one, the equivalent single force will be equal to one over two times two kilonewton per meter times the length here, three meter. And okay, so let me just write that down then. So I have three kilonewton here, so three kilonewton minus one over two times two times three and minus VC is equal to zero. So this will give me and uh, is actually this will give me zero. So I have no shear force acting there. This can happen. Okay. So what about my moment? So the moment uh, we go down. Okay, so let me just take moments around point C, okay, uh, equal to zero. So for that equation, I'll be having the internal force itself, MC, okay, MC, that's positive, counterclockwise positive, right, and then plus one over two times two times three, that's that equivalent force, single force times the distance one meter so that's one meter here and okay and minus a y times one and a half so a y is three kilonewton and one and a half equals zero so i find mc to be 1.5 kilonewton meter so that's the solution uh, ju just one recap. So what we do to find internal forces in in, in a given, uh, let's say beam. Let's say this is C. Okay. So if you apply the cut here, so we apply virtual cut. Okay. Uh, the direction of the forces direction of the forces and uh, will be this is actual force positive this is actual force positive this is VC V so that's N and that's V and on the right hand side it's this way positive and as for the moments let me change the color for the moments so this moment will be positive here and this moment will be positive here so this is moment this is moment okay so uh, on, a, on a selected point C, okay? So you have two options. So option one is to pick the, choose the left-hand side. Uh, option two is to pick the right-hand side, okay? With all the loading, of course, or with all the loading over, so the loading over whatever loading you have, okay? So you may have all these things here, okay? So with the loading, okay, you will be writing uh, a equilibrium equations using either this left-hand side free body diagram or this right-hand side free body diagram, assuming these signs, okay, these posi these uh, directions, positive directions. Okay, so this concludes the. Uh, solution to, to, to this particular problem.